Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today for the much anticipated December journal release. Um, I have some exciting things to share with you so we're just going to jump right in. Um, first of all, I am not going to have a release date. If you are seeing this video, then they are listed in my shop and once everything is gone, I will put sold in the title or I will try to remember to. Um, so that you don't get your hopes up but i figured because we are so close to that crunch time um it would just be good to first come first serve release it as you go you know type things so i also want to mention real quick that unfortunately because of the um postal strikes and stuff in canada i cannot guarantee that um if you buy this and you are shipping it to canada that it will a arrive on time or b arrive at all and i do apologize for that that's just something out of my control so anyway i have created four journals and the idea behind this collection before i get started was to give you kind of the christmas winter holiday vibes without puking christmas in your face because I am not a Christmas person, but I do enjoy playing along with challenges such um, as December Daily and Create December. So I wanted to make some journals that would kind of work for those without being overly Christmassy. I did create a few different sizes, so let's just um, go over them from in this order, I guess. So first I did make a B6. I know many of you are gonna be happy about that and you're gonna be fighting over it. <laughs> um, and I will try to make more B6s in the future. I know you guys really enjoy that size. Um, it's just a, not something I usually use slash make. So it does come with, they all come with a tie closure. Um, if you would like, I can glue your closure here to the spine um, so that it is attached but still um, you can kind of get it out of your way. That is something I've done with my personal journal that I have really liked doing. Um, so I will just let me know when you purchase it um, and I'll do it free of charge, of course. So this is a B6 size. It is an insert style. Um, so I wanted to make it so that if you were doing like Create December or December Daily that you could use this as your insert. Um, Here's a place you could stick your prompt list or maybe your wish list or something. And this one does have 28 pages, which is 56 sides. So um, that should be more than enough to um, document your month. It also has four pockets. It has plain Midori paper, um, 52 GSM Tamoya River paper, vintage ledger paper, and then um, the dyed scrapbook papers that I have put together. Um, so as you can see, this one is a little more, um, I would call this one a Christmassy one. <laughs> um, it does have some plaid and just some trees. So it's not overly um, Christmas-esque. It is just kind of a wintry vibe. Um, so even if you wanted to start using this whenever or use it um, for the new year, this one does have the wreaths, of course, and the balsam fir close-up shot, but you could cover those up, of course. Um, but I just thought they were really cute, um, and you guys have been begging me for this size. So, there is the B6 one. Now, each one of these journals, you'll see I didn't put any ephemera inside. Um, this was because I would assume if you're doing something like documenting your December, you have photos you want to put in um, and things like gift tags and stuff. So what I've done is I have put together a little pack that goes with each um, journal. So you will get um, a printout of my um, numbers. I call these my December daily numbers. These are up on my Etsy shop as a digital file so you can download them any time of the year um, and use them as date covers, but I originally invented them last year for December daily, so I really wanted to include them. I have printed them on sticker paper for you. Um, so all you have to do is cut them out and use them. Um, 
Um, so there's those. It also comes with a vintage envelope and I have created a wax seal for you. Each one has a wax seal and a vintage envelope. Um, so if you wanted to write something private or just send um, a note to your pen pal or keep a special memory or whatever, you have your envelope. And then what I like to do is I just kind of bunch the string up in a wild-esque fashion and then I would put the wax seal on top. Now obviously this isn't ideal because um, the wax seal is already done for you, but I still think if you glued it down, they're all done on craft, pa craft paper, um, it looks super cute and pretty authentic. So that will be included in your little kit. Then each one also comes with a um, gold star paper clip. Some of the stars are different, um, but all the paper clips and the gold stars are the same. And then you get an envelope, a craft envelope um, pocket that you can use in the journal with some pretty generic um, junk journal type things. So you get some um, check receipts, a tag, a white envelope, um, a project life card, a prompt card in case you get stuck on one of your things, a playing card, a little mini skippo card, and an acetate tag. So I thought that was just a really good, um, you know, non Christmassy way to kind of bulk up your journal there. Um, like I said, I assume if you're doing a document in December, you have your own ephemera that you want to put in. Um, so I just wanted to kind of enhance your documenting experience. So um, each journal comes with one of these packs. There we go. Moving right along. So that was the B6. This is a standard size. I love the standard size for um, documenting in December. I don't know why. Um, I think because I can't use it on a regular basis, but for the one month, it's just so fun to like have it in a TN and like do the whole thing. So this is a standard um, TN insert size. I have left the cover a blank craft. You can decorate it however you wish. Um, this one is definitely um, for the person who is more wintry than Christmas, um, for sure. So there's a lot of sweater pattern in here. There are fold outs, which are super fun. This one has 24 pages, 48 sides with four pockets, Midori graph paper, 52 GSM to my river paper, vintage ledger paper, and of course my personally tea dyed pages. Now all of my um, tea dye pages are mixed with a solution of baking soda. So that is supposed to kind of um, stabilize the acid. Now I have not tested the pH or anything so I cannot say for sure um, that they will stand the test of time but you should be um, a little safer than if I had not added it. So I wouldn't worry too much um, about yellowing and things like that, but if you do want this to be around forever, um, I cannot, <laughs> cannot guarantee that there's no acid in there. So that was the standard size. All of the specs and pictures and details and everything will be in the Etsy listing. Um, so you can check it out there. Next, we have an A5 insert. Um, this one is very much not Christmassy at all. I have tied it with this Grinch ribbon, which is the Christmassiest. Christmassiest? Is that a word? I don't know. Um, the most Christmas like thing about this one. This one is very woodsy and rustic. So we have the blue wood green uh, pattern. I thought this was perfect. It just screamed winter um, to me. So. There we go. Again, it is insert style. If you were doing um, Create December, you could list your prompts over here. Um, here we just have some paper. Now I'm going to go through this. 
So this one has 24 pages, 48 sides, Midori MD graph paper and plain paper, vintage ledger paper, 52 GSM Tomoe River paper, and of course the uh, tea dyed scrapbook paper. Now, this one is very uh, wood grainy and there isn't really anything in here that says Christmas at all. It's wintry and rustic. Um, this would even make a great gift for um, a not so girly person in your life who wants to get into um, journaling or has never tried a junk journal before. Um, it's just a really cool um, blue Christmas journal basically. I have not given any of these names like I usually do, um, but they're all so different. I'm sure you can tell um, on the listing which one it is that um, you're looking for. And of course, um, all these specs will be over there. And like I mentioned before, they all come with the ephemera pack. I will fix that ribbon later. All right, and last but not least, we have um, this soft cover journal. Now, this one is um, quite different from, well, not quite different. This one is different from the others. Um, it is a lot larger in size. It was, I made it with the thought that you could document um, three Christmases within it. I guess you could say three Decembers. Um, so it has three signatures and each signature has enough to document a whole month with a little extra. This one, like the uh, B6 journal, is a little more Christmas, but again, it's not any more Christmas than anything you've already seen. Um, this is a soft cover journal, so it really allows for the bulking up of things. Again, if you would like your closure attached here at the spine, um, let me know and I will do that for you. Um, just drop me a note during checkout. Uh, this one has 48 pages, 96 sides, 11 pockets, vintage ledger paper, Midori graph paper, and Midori plain paper. So, I left the inside blank here so you can put whatever you want here. You can washi tape your current prompt list there. You can put um, your favorite photos from each um, December there. You could even just use this as a complete winter journal um, and bypass the whole December thing and use it for the next three months. Whatever floats your boat. So I'm just going to flip through this real quick. Um, now stay tuned if you um, already have a journal that you're going to document your December in or um, like me you're sticking with your current journal and just keeping on. I've created some little um, packs that will just kind of bump up bump up your documenting and give it that little extra flair without you having to buy a bunch of Christmas embellishments that you will never get through. Um, and if you're like me or way too Christmassy for your taste. <laughs> um, so just hang on a second and I'll show you those awesome packs that I have put together. And if this ever gets too bulky, you can always take one of the in, um, signatures out and bind it into its own insert. Um, really whatever floats your boat, but I thought it was a very cool, um, a cool journal and it would be super cool to have all of your like three years in one spot to look back on and see how things have changed over the years. Um, it'd be really cool if you're into two traditions or keepsakes. Um, so yeah, there is that soft cover journal. Now on to the fun, um, ephemera packs. Now I have made two of each design. So this is one design and then this is the other and I will go through them. They're kind of like the journal. So this one's more Christmassy and this one's less Christmassy. Um, so let's just go through the less one first. Um, so <laughs> I forgot your vintage envelope. Just pretend there's a vintage envelope here. Hold on. There we go. So again, you'll get the um, date covers here, which again, you can purchase in my shop, just a one-off digital thing for yourself. You will get the vintage envelope and the wax seal um, embellishment pick, bleh, kit there. You get a set of tabs. So I punched all of these tabs. 
they are um, tea dyed as well. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tabs that kind of go with um, your subtle theme there. And then you get a paper scrap booklet. So this is great if you just want to layer some photos, you want to add a little bit, you want to make a flip out or a tip in, you want to make extra tabs, you want to embellishment some cards for Christmas, whatever floats your boat. Um, this is just a little scrap pack to have fun with. So these are really great for layering. So it comes with this cover, which you can use as well. They're all stitched here on the spine, so none of the papers are going to fall out. You can shove this in your bag um, and take it with you on holiday or whatever you're doing. So, um, they each green one has the same papers inside, um, so I'm just going to flip through really quick. So all the papers are different sizes. Um, they're all papers you saw in the journals. They're just kind of the cutoffs that I had left, um, and I thought this would be a really cool idea um, for those of you that um, just wanted a little extra something something but didn't want to buy a whole ton of embellishments like myself. So that's the green one, the less Christmassy one, and then we have the red ones. Again, I have two of each of these. So again, you will get a vintage envelope. Now, obviously th I'm recycling this envelope for the purpose of showing it to you. So they will all be different in each pack, but so you get the numbers, you get the envelope, you get a red wax seal kit. You get eight tabs that kind of match the papers in here. And this is the other booklet. So the same uh, paper as the B6 cover. And again, same deal. This one is just a little more festive heavy, if you will. Um, so these are really cool. Um, you guys may remember um, that I released some of these before and I plan on releasing some more, but they're really cool. So that is it for my um, Christmas release, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I am planning a my next release already. I also have a custom journal that I'm going to be working on. Um, so I will be busy, busy. But if you do purchase these um, within the week and you live in the US, you should be able to get it in time to start your Create December. Um, or December daily or whatever. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead on over to the Etsy shop to check it out. Again, if you're seeing this video, then they're up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care guys. Bye.